Good morning, campers and travelers. Right now we're on session two, day two, part two of the Goodness Games program, however you're doing this program. And right now our focus is receive. So you may be asking yourself why it's important or why it's an act of goodness to receive. But if you think about it, if you've ever tried to give a gift or a compliment or an apology to someone and they won't receive it or a form of encouragement, it's really, really difficult. And so receiving that act of goodness that somebody is trying to give you is an act of goodness itself. So let's take a look at our scriptural verses. We've got James 1, 17. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. We've got Matthew 10, 8b, freely you've received, freely give. And 2 Corinthians 9, 8, God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Some discussion questions that you might want to go over with family and friends include what is the best thing or action that you've ever received or service? How does it make you feel when someone receives a gift or something that you've been trying to give them? How does it make you feel when someone doesn't receive a gift or something that you've been trying to give them? And why do you think it's sometimes difficult for people to receive? And how can you overcome or how can they overcome that situation? The activity, of course, is to receive. So ask the Lord what He wants you to receive, whether it's love from Him, encouragement, words of wisdom, an apology, assistance from others, and then go ahead and receive those things. In the mighty name of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, amen and amen.